basically you're saying, we're gonna do 60 frames per second and we're gonna support 50 people at the same time. How many computers did you crash? <laughs> If you want to be a biker, you could bike. If you want to do snowboard, you could do snowboard. If you want to fly in the wingsuit, you do wingsuit. It's a space for everyone where players could express themselves, be themselves, and play the way that they want to play in an extreme sports game. Welcome to Riders Republic. Emulated by most, duplicated by none. I like to think about it like uh, an amusement park for outdoor sport. Greetings, thrill seekers. This is the Riders Ridge, the Republic's stomping ground. to make sure we can have the real national park in the game so that players can really ride bikes or do tricks on snowboard in these places. One of our purpose was to be able to provide the feeling that if you already have been to those different places, you should be able to recognize those different places. So to do that, we start to collect satellite data to be able to recognize and to make all those different uh, area. And then, uh, thanks to our tool, we were able to shape all those different uh, regions to be able to provide different experiences and game context for our players. We try to recreate and to be as realistic as possible. Like we have ch choose each species of the trees, each type of rock to recreate the diversity that compose all those different spots. In a sense, we are doing what the shapers are doing in real life, uh, but for us it's way less physical, of course. But uh, it's really this approach of finding the right rhythm, the right flow to place our feature and, and, uh, and really develop uh, the content like that. The amount of actual tourist spots that are in the world. And these are all things that are, have a lot of history to them. And they're all things that people want to see in their life and may never get the chance. But it's not enough because we wanted also to ensure the, the game fantasy. We want to ensure something really fun to play all the time. So uh, what we developed is a full system you know, to create and let the content creator play with the terrain. And then we have these really freaking awesome events built into the world. We couldn't have layered this on top unless we made the world and cared so much to make it so realistic. It's a big jump, you're staying on that big bike. And, you know, I think we're seeing the shirt and style. We designed some events on our side, but it's also to have real life events represented where the player will hook on them and would say, okay, that's the Red Bull Joyride event, that's the Red Bull homepage, and okay, I can play it and I can be a hero on them. And it's super cool, honestly. We are really nailing down uh, this, the story of, the, of those events and trying to extract what is the essence, what makes them unique. Now he gets down in the beat of The cinematics are a great way to make our mindset more clear from the beginning of the game. It's a great way to expose things, to introduce characters, and to get the player involved in them too. Like to give um, um, a connection with the characters. I'm telling you, Brett, this is the real deal, okay? This could be your next protege for Riders Ridge Invitational. Protege, eh? Big words. Who's your favorite character in your in your cinematics? Oh, it's Suki. Whew, I'm Suki, by the way. It's been years competing at the highest level. What I discovered is that there's so much more to the Republic than meets the eye. At the beginning, when we didn't have the official recordings, I recorded some lines as Suki. Can we hear some of them? Nope. <laughs> We had a certain amount of time to develop the game, but we had this thing called the comm. 
and it was the kickoff meeting. And we showed it to them and say, hey, this is what we want to make. And we were like, what do you think? And we were all excited and we worked really hard to get up to that, that point. And it came back that uh, we didn't pass the comm. They said it failed. And that we had to uh, either move on to another project uh, or commit to a very short cycle that we can make something that kicks ass. I moved here to work on this game and we might not be making it. So like, I might have to leave France. And so, uh, you know, a few, uh, maybe like a week went by and, you know, leadership had their, their meetings to talk about what we were doing next. And they came back and they were like, no, we're, we're, we're going to fight. Uh, we're going to fight for this. Uh, we're going to show them that we can make this and we can make a product that they want us to deliver to the public. We kind of got there and then like another level happened where we were like, you know what? We have to go further. And that's where like the madness mindset like just took over and we all started pitching like different game ideas and we went to com2 and they came back and they were like you guys you guys have like something awesome and it was the exact opposite response and that's kind of where we are now we're like hey we've seen this before what's the next step Aujourd'hui le vélo c'est euh, c'est un incontournable des, des sports extrêmes c'était évident de, 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 de l'ajouter au scope du jeu. Et c'est complexe à mettre en place parce que c'est une toute autre physique et c'est une toute autre approche de développement et de, de ride pour réussir à, à donner aux joueurs une sensation qui est, qui est cohérente avec ce qui pourrait se passer dans la réalité. C'est des comportements qui, qui, sont, qui répondent à de la physique qui est compliquée à développer. C'est la dernière phrase que tu as dit. Non, non ça passe. On, on essaie d'attraper toutes les opportunités de, de rigoler avec l'équipe, à, à tester des choses. Et euh, bah c'est les, les bons moments qu'on partage à faire nos sorties, à, à trouver des bricoles pour euh, créer de la ref. Pas mal Toutes les occasions sont bonnes pour faire n'importe quoi. This bike is uh, our special craft bike to uh, record all the specific sound we needed for the, for the game. A bike that allow us to, to record different parts of it separately. So for example, the, the free wheel here. The scrapping, the drift. The process of creating the sound for the game is quite complex. So, for example, when we need a sound for, for the ski, uh, we went in the mountains recording some, some snow. Excellent! But uh, we realized, recording the real sound of the snow, that it was too shy. As a player, you expect to have a big, a big whoosh, like, like we call in sound, a uh, big blast. Uh, the sound is really characteristic and uh, in fact we use uh, a, a polystyrene ball that uh, I can show you. It's a polystyrene ball like that and we put that on, on the, micro, the microphone just inside and just moving it. That I can show you, you can listen. And it's uh, the, 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 the sound of the, of the ski just cracking on the, on the snow. We have a tight suit in them, covered with markers that reflect light. And uh, we have infrared cameras all, all around them that capture their position in three dimensions. For Riders Republic, we developed a new technology called uh, Power Ragdoll, which uh, consists of a physical layer on top of animation that run in real time. So every frame in the game, you have a layer of simulation that calculates the weight of your body parts and everything to make it even more realistic and make every move in the game unique. For example, if I take a big landing, you can see that the physical character is a lot more impacted than, uh, than what it is on the animation.
Riders Republic, c'est un jeu qui, qui va vivre euh, sur la durée. On va continuellement ajouter du contenu, des nouveaux sports, plein de nouveaux équipements. Euh. Ouais, pour, nous, le, pour nous, le BMX, c'est un bon candidat parce qu'on euh, continue à intégrer euh, plein de choses nouvelles. On, on est à la recherche de nouveaux sports et euh, là-dessus, c'est un univers encore super riche. On va être euh, euh, à l'écoute du jeu pour, pour trouver et être en accord avec euh, le, la communauté pour euh, le faire voler dans le bon sens. Ouais. I was definitely looking forward to get a proper biking game. I mean, uh, you can't really find anything uh, like this out on the market yet. I think for the whole sport, it's pretty cool because because that sport never got a big attention in the gaming world. So now it's, it's definitely a big win for the whole industry. Three, two, one, and race. Oh, I know. Oh, he's in the lead. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's, that's a lot of trouble. Uh -huh. Trump, Bob is still the lead. Take it, take it. The game mechanics are awesome. I mean, like quite a lot of um, similarities, like when you're riding in real, which I really like. So you really have to break in corners to get them right. Um, just like lean in and everything, which gives the whole game a very uh, unique feeling. The tricks are pretty cool to do and especially you know when you're a rider you can compare to, to those tricks and you, you just try to do what you're doing in real life in that game and that just uh, gives you quite a cool feeling when playing it. Oh. <laughs> uh, I need to direct your attention over here. These are um, the bane of my existence. They're always beating me in multiplayer, and um, watch out for them. They're, uh, they'll murder you. If this isn't a chance for riders to demonstrate their skills, then what is? Absolutely, it's going to be a fantastic spectacle. On s'apprête à ouvrir l'alpha de Riders Republic. Il y a des milliers de joueurs qui nous attendent derrière. Mais nous, en test, on joue à ce jeu tous les jours depuis plusieurs années. On va vous montrer ce qu'on peut faire. La cohésion. Tout est permis ici. Nous avons plein de joueurs qui viennent en jouer une version version du jeu et nous utilisons ce type de faces privées pour comprendre ce que les joueurs font dans le jeu, pour voir ce type de type d'issue qu'ils peuvent mettre. Et nous essayons d'analyser tout ça pour identifier où il y a des bugs. Au moment où on sort là, il fait le clown faire des tricks. Je laisse moi faire ça là. Here there are purple dots and basically it means that we have a lot of players falling in here. So now we discover that, uh, we look into what happened uh, to, to avoid that players are falling here because it's definitely not what we want. We want a, a spectacular experience but not, uh, not a lot of uh, crashes. So here the slope is really uh, steep and uh, the physics could be a bit random in here. So we have to clean up a bit uh, this part to make things uh, smoother. Ouf, ça a failli me... <rire> On est obligé de te donner de l'espoir, sinon tu joues plus avec lui après. <rire> no one's really focusing on action or extreme sports games. This is something fresh. This is something that will give players a different experience than what they're currently playing. Ah, laisse pas derrière, les points. Oh là 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 là. Boum Facile, facile un peu. Qu'est-ce qu'on dit One of the big things that came out of our like reemergence from out of that, hey, we're not hitting the mark that we need to do, was that uh, we started saying this game needs to feel like a party. You know that moment, uh, we needed it. We needed to be broken a little bit. We needed to question ourselves. Uh, in order to grow uh, this game into where it is now. 
we came out of that first comm and we're like, we have to do more. And I, I don't think we've stopped thinking about that. Like we have to keep going and we have to, you know, uh, hit the next level.